Let's do this. Let's do this. Set some girls, yes, boys. Hello, everyone. My name is May. Welcome back to me. So today we are looking at the goals that I set in 2020, how I did with them, and we're setting some new ones for 2021. Let's hope it's less dumb. But I'm even saying 2020 reading wise was fantastic. So first we're gonna look back at 2020. And we're gonna see what my accumulated habits ended up achieving. Let's just do this. So the first goal in 2020 was of course my Goodreads goal and I decided in 2020 that I just wanted to read 31 books because in 2019 I'd only read 21 books so I was like okay I'll just try 10 more books than that which is a lot more books. We'll just go for 31 books. We'll see if I can do that. Well I absolutely smashed that. In 2020 I read 39 books of 31. In fact almost 40 so smash that out of the park. The ball's still sailing. Actually, we're in 2021. It's not sailing anymore. I wanted to read like two or three non-fiction books. I like I read two non-fiction books and like I read an extra one that was just a fiction book. So I feel like, you know, I was I was trying really hard and I, I half finished a lot of non-fiction. So that's a good time. In 2020, I wanted to read one classic and I did. Da -da 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 -da. Frankenstein is here to stay. Ba -da 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 -day. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Finally, lots of people were telling me I had to and I did. So I've done it, guys. You're welcome. Of the five plays that I wanted to read, I read one and then like I mostly read three others. So kind of I almost read four, right? Because I read and then mostly three anyway. I kept on mostly reading plays, but then I did this stupid thing where I didn't really read them in one sitting, and so I just wouldn't end up finishing them. Stupid idea. It may have not really helped at the fact that the one play I did finish was The Glass Menagerie, which I gave one star to and I didn't really enjoy it, so... Yeah, check out my worst books of 2020 to see that one. So I said last year that I wanted to make, make a book club with my brother and cousin and then host like a podcast specifically reading Australian authored stuff. Look, we read quite a lot of Australian authored stuff and I think we made two podcast things that the audio files will probably never see the light of day. In fact, I don't even know where my half of the audio files are anymore. So that probably doesn't help. I think you kind of just it would need all of us to be a lot more organized to actually happen. But we did actually read several Australian written books and we're planning on continuing to read more. And so I'm hoping that can still be something that continues in this year. So those were kind of reading goals for the year. I then got onto like some writing -y type goals. The first one being that I wanted to try and get my NaNoWriMo draft from 2018, Monsters in the Chimney, off to an editor. And that didn't happen, not at all. In fact, as I film this, it still has another five more chapters that need this edit that I've been doing. Like it's quite a deep edit that I'm doing. So that's why it's taking so long. And then when I finish that, I still want to give it to my writing group, The Militia of Words, to be beta readers first before I send it off to an editor because editors are doing stuff professionally and therefore they're wanting money for their job. And as much as I would like to give them money for doing their job, I would much prefer to have my um, co-writers read it first for free and maybe for smiles. <sighs> Apparently I wanted to write a play last year. That didn't bloody happen, did it? I definitely tried to write some plays. In fact, in one frenzied week, I tried to write a musical. <sighs> yeah, that one didn't work out too well, did it? I did kind of do some storyboarding on an adventure game that me and my cousin are writing. So does that kind of count? Because you're playing the people in the... No? Okay. That's fine. It's not a race. Oh, I like this one. So I wanted to do some skit videos last year. I thought I could probably do about three. And I think I basically did about three. I did the mustard skit early in the middle of the year. And then halfway through the year, I released my brother's 18th birthday present. This was a video that took like over a year oh, to make. No. I basically oh, ate oh, nine wheat bix oh, in one sitting yummy. while I gave him nine life lessons, equaling up to 18. A little bit of backstory. Basically, my brother Amos for my 18th birthday ate 18 wheat bix on my birthday as my birthday present. Why? I don't know. Anyway, I decided that reciprocation was the only way to go. If you haven't checked that out, it was seriously a lot of fun. The other one I'm kind of counting is my Why You Should Do NaNoWriMo video because that had a few bits of skitty fun bits in it. Not that I really wrote any of that down. I kind of just improv it. But you know, that's what I always do anyway. Ha ha ha. I really wanted to continue with dance and that continued to happen. I continued to do a lot of dance and that was great. Backflips. I kind of tried and that didn't really work, but I did learn to do a walkover on the tramp from my brother. So that was pretty fun. I did in fact get my middle splits. Com suck. And now, if money's ever tight, I can just go be a pole dancer stripper because I've got my middle splits. Any self-respecting stripper 
has the middle splits. Musical theatre wise goals, I was in a show that was cancelled due to COVID, so yay. I'm hoping to get back into that again soon. I've got some stuff lined up that I'm trying to get into, you know, if I can get into it. I did predict it properly last year. I didn't go overseas. Uh, I think I'm an absolute wizard that I saw that one coming. I mean, I thought it was gonna be due to financial problems, but you know, that's fine. So now let's put those wizarding powers to the test and see if I can look at possibly where I'm gonna put my energies this coming year. Unlike following my tradition of the amount of books I read, I'm gonna bump it up by 10 books and try to set that as my Goodreads goal, I decided I was not going to try and read 49 books, so that just was not really gonna happen. But I have still gone in the 40 range, I've gone for 45 books is my set goal on Goodreads. I'm gonna aim for again three non-fictions this year. I think I could do it, I think I could try it. I'm currently reading a non-fiction that I'm really enjoying, so if I can just try and keep the good times rolling, we could possibly get three done. We could get three done. We could do it. And speaking of doing the same number again as we did last year, we're going to try for five plays because we'll be fine. It's not like we're in our final year of university and we have no time. Yeah. And then, you know, what the heck is, I read one classic. I smashed that goal. So let's try for two classics this year. Let's do it. Let's get on that classic reading train. Let's up the edge on Fog Index. I also kind of think that I'd like to make a review for one of these non-fictions or classics books. So if anybody has an opinion about which ones they'd like me to make as I read some more, let me know. Possibly these reviews could be a bit more intellect as opposed to my normal reviews where it's more like, and that man hit him with magic. And then that man hit him with magic. I was like, like something a bit higher than that, I think is a good idea. Also, as an added new little goal, I'd like to read a novella or a short story or something this year more intentionally. And looking at Murderbot or that one done by Brandon Sanderson, though both of those look really interesting. And I think it could be the kind of thing I could just try out because I haven't really tried them out, so I may as well. Putting goals for this year, I'd really like to get this edit from Monsters in the Chimney finished. I'm thinking I could probably get that finished before I go back to university, so I'm hoping either July through September kind of time is when I could maybe be trying to apply for an editor. And of course, I'm gonna do another 50,000 word draft this coming November, whatever, that's fine. But I would also like to try and finish one of my current 50,000 word drafts, like actually finish the stories because often I get to 50,000 words and at the end of NaNoWriMo, I kind of just lose steam and I never finish the story. So I'd like to actually pick up one of those drafts that I've done that with and actually finish the draft. And to kind of just stay with what I did last year, let's just try for three skit videos. I don't know whether my creativity is going to be on point this year, but I'm really hoping and praying that it will be. That should be exciting. I do lots of stories on Instagram, so if you Everyone want kind of like teasers of what I could be capable of, but, if I actually but, applied my brain cells, go check out my Instagram stories. But otherwise, yeah. And then my non-book related stuff, which I'm gonna whiz through like lightning. I'd like to do some more dance stuff. I really got into hip hop this year, so I wanna do some more hip hop. Trying to feel really comfortable in the intermediate jazz class would be awesome. Trying to actually get up to like high at the top of the, the beginners class in hip hop would be really good. Trying to maybe get into the intermediate ballet would be really good. That'd be really fun. If I could do triple pirouettes on both legs reliably, that would be fantastic. Currently I can only sometimes do a triple on the right, so both legs would be awesome. I don't know whether to set this as a goal, but I really would like to do some pole dancing, even though Bazada has inspired me, and I'd like to try a pole dancing class at least once. Second lastly, I kind of would like to maybe see if I could get to New Zealand or Japan, because those are the places that are kind of like tangentially possibly opening up to Australia, especially New Zealand. If I could do that, that would be fantastic, and I would love it. I would really like to go overseas again, because I love going overseas, it's my favorite thing. Um, but I'm not really holding my breath on that one because I probably would die within the first four minutes. Yeah, I can't hold my breath for longer than four minutes. And then my final goal for this year is to graduate from university, which means that I have to pass all my classes. Wouldn't that be exciting? Can you just imagine it? Where's my hat? So that concludes my wrap up of my 2020 goals and my setting of my 2021 goals. Thank you so much for watching. If any of your goals line up similarly with mine, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna now go away and keep hanging out with my family because I'm going home next week. So I want to go hang out with my family. So I will see you later. Imagine if I did end up going overseas and had that like hotel quarantine for two weeks. Imagine the videos, they'd be nuts. I would go crazy. My new video startup would probably be like, It's me! And maybe like get some hatchets or something. The thing I really must ask myself, is 2021 gonna be such a good reading year as 2020? 2020 had so much time for reading. Am I gonna have time for reading in 2021? 
It's 12 weeks worth of placement. Ah, yeah. Okay, on to the, the reviews, the things, the, yeah. Pikachu, I choose you.